How's it going everyone? A Shrewsbury here, and I'm back with another Overwatch Workshop tutorial. Today, we're going to be going over how to create your own bots in Overwatch. So this is uh, essentially a tutorial about how to make an NPC that you can spawn in that controls itself entirely and can fight any player that it comes across. And we're going to use a variety of rules to cover um, how to find a target, how to point towards that target, move towards that target, and shoot that target. Um, and we're also going to go over a generic way of programming this so you can kind of fill it in with your own actions. You don't have to just shoot, you could also throw in using abilities and things like that. But um, this code is going to be very clean, it's going to use variables and variable names and a good structure so that you can continue to grow into bigger and bigger projects. So if this sounds great for you, if you're looking to do a bigger project with some NPCs in it, then stick around, this will be very helpful. So um, let's give a quick demonstration of what I've done with this script. So um, I have a key binding. Uh, when I hit control, I'm going to spawn in this bot, and it's going to be a reaper. So let's take a look. So he's going to look for me and try and shoot me. So right now he's shooting me, but if you see, if I get far enough away from him to where I break line of sight, he no longer knows where I am. He doesn't just remember that. He can't see me. So now if we kind of sneak up on him, we can see what he's doing. He's looking around to find me. See, he just found me. But if we can get a quick glimpse, he's going to look around, and then now he found me. Right now, um, his view angle is very large to where if he uh, barely sees me on the screen, he'll start to turn towards me and hit me. Um, but we can change that because we made the code to be very versatile. So um, rather than building the code from the ground up, I'm going to go ahead and show you the code that I have now. And uh, near the end of the video, I'll show the code so you can take it and do with what you will with it. But it's really important that I explain what's going on. Um, so let's get safe from him and open up our workshop editor. So these are the scripts. Um, and you can notice right off the bat that I have this very interesting way of formatting my scripts. This is something that is kind of inspired from normal uh, programming, normal coding, um, and it, it's basically a syntax to help us know what each of the code, pieces of code does. Up here, uh, slot zero, colon, colon, spawn reaper. Um, so the first number I put refer references the person that's being affected by this code, so this is only the person in slot zero, just that first host player, and it says when I hit the button crouch, we're going to spawn in a dummy bot at the, our position and the same direction that we're facing. It won't do anything right off the bat. It'll just spawn it in there and it will do nothing. The rest are for any player playing Reaper. You could also add um, code to this to say is if it's a dummy bot, which this one has, but not all of them have. Um, but right now, even if I spawned in as Reaper, um, it would hijack my controls. So um, I have Reaper colon colon and then what it does. And anytime you see a tilde here, it's kind of like the opposite of its counterpart. It turns off settings and kind of balances um, that. So first off, we have Reaper Reaper. This is all the basic variables we're going to use for uh, our character. And this, when you're trying to plug in this code to any other larger project, you'll change these values um, to affect how he functions. So I went ahead and I named variables up here. You can name your own variables, and I use the player side, and I have a few of these. We have bot target, which is the target, usually me, that the bot is trying to shoot. Target in view is a binary thing. It's either true or false, saying whether we see a target or not. View angle is the view angle which we're allowing uh, the bot to be able to use to try and find a character. So if we make this smaller, we have to be right in front of him. Um, but if we were uh, made it larger, he could see us more easily. Uh, turn speed is the speed in which he turns his body. Move closer is uh, something that I'm not really using right now. It's um, in kind of a development phase. Same with inaccuracy. And then reaction time is how often he'll recalculate himself. So that's that script. Um, I set it to these starting values. 
I'm going to go ahead and move this down because I noticed it was very difficult. So let's go 100. Or he was picking us up very easily. So that's the initialization. Now the next thing is a very simple script. This is a bool target in view. So this will set our player variable target in view true if we can ray cast hit the player. So um, all you have to do is for the two values, the starting position and the ending position, you have uh, the bot's eye position and the eye position of a character, uh, of the closest character, as long as it's within this view angle. So that's why in players to include, we only put players that are within view angle and that view angle being our custom view angle. And we want to exclude all dead players. So that's that. And then similarly, the opposite of this is everything flipped. So if this is false, we're going to set it to false. And th this will help us not have to rewrite this code a lot anytime we use it. We can just use the variable name. It's like a little shortcut. All right, let's move on to move. So if um, that, that variable that we just set, see that handy little shortcut? If that's true, we're going to start a throttle. So a throttle is basically forcing the bot in a certain direction, and we're going to do the direction towards the bot target. So starting at our pos at the reaper's position and going towards that bot target, um, and keep everything else default. And if it turns to false, we're going to stop facing and stop throttle. We're just going to stop everything. Facing is something that we we'll do later in this last script. Um, for shooting, similarly, when we see our target, we're going to shoot. We don't need to shoot otherwise, so we'll turn it off when we can't see the, our target. Now, this last script is the most extensive, but it's not too bad. So um, imagine each of these sets of two blocks as kind of one script. So we have a skip if and then our thing, and a skip if and then a thing. So all this says, it's kind of like a hacky way to do an if statement. So um, do this unless the um so okay it's a double negative so uh skip if the event player um is in view so if it's not in view is what this saying um then we're going to start looking for a random location so we set our bot target to be a random integer is so it's a vector with all random integers from negative 360 to positive 360 on the x y and z and then we're going to later use that bot target to find our character so um now this is uh similarly if we do see a character meaning um this is the opposite um then we're going to uh take that player that Raycast hit that same script from before, and we're gonna shove that position into our uh, bot target using that same thing we used before to see if someone was there. And then um, right now, um, don't worry about these. I These are in development, sorry about that. Um, then the last thing to do is we need to start facing a direction. And we're going to do a direction towards starting at the eye position of the Reaper and then going towards that bot target because that's a position that we got through earlier in the script. And keep everything default and we'll start rotating towards him. And now we need to loop this. See, there's no condition, so this will always be happening. This is ongoing. And we want to wait an amount of time and then check everything again. And this essentially represents how often our Reaper is thinking about where we are. So if you changed, you notice we have reaction time here. We're waiting for a variable time reaction. And if we go back up here, reaction time is half a second. So if you made this valuable lower, uh, this variable lower, he will more easily lock on to us all the time and be moving very snappy because he's recalculating a bunch. And if you make this lower about every second he'll think is somebody there or not it's kind of like human reaction time to make him a bit more lifelike so those are the scripts let's go ahead and spawn in a few guys show them all interacting a 
will still target me. I believe they can target themselves. That's been on and off as we go, but um, as promised, here is the code. Just as soon as I get there. All right, here's the code for everyone, 6BFDP. So go ahead and copy this code in, mess around with the settings and see what they do so you're comfortable with them, and then um, see what you can do with it. And add, add a few functionalities to this because this is um, very basic right now, and I wanna see what you guys create. So if you guys make something really cool using this script, go ahead and post that in the comments down below with the code or a link to a video or something, and um, I'm anxious to see what you guys can create. But until next time, thanks and have a great day.